Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to another transmission. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. We are about to usher in the month of July. So this is really a very beautiful time um, to really start just getting ready to, you know, get into your energy, get into your power, start doing some things that are going to really be more fun. You know, it's really time to start having fun, whether that means going to the beach or going out, going to the arcade, going skating, just getting out in nature and just allowing yourself to be in that youthfulness. Um, this is a beautiful time. July is my uh, daughter waters solar return month so this is an exciting time for me as well um, I resonate with this energy very much so she is my uh, fellow water sign her father's also a water sign so we are a trine of water signs um, so it's really just a powerful energy um, that I always feel around this time I get really excited I feel like it's my solar return month too, <laughs> but um, yeah, to all of you beautiful souls, I will, everyone is feeling amazing. I will, everyone is in a sound mind. Like it's really, really important. People make light of the importance of, you know, always ensuring your mental health. Um, there's so much going on in the world, so much always uh, pulling and tugging at your attention and your energy and your vibration. So it's really important to really you know, take those moments to really decompress, to really, you know, ground your energy, ground yourselves. Um, and the way that I do that is I love a beautiful nature walk. Um, during my nature walks, I find feathers. Um, I would actually like to show you uh, a jar, which is full of all of the feathers that I have found um, within the last couple of years. Uh, I've recently added, you know, about probably six or seven of them within the last week or two uh, because I find them every time I go out on my nature walk. And I always feel like that's the angels and my ancestors just confirming, um, you know, what I'm feeling in that moment when I'm having conversation, when I'm, you know, just searching within or seeking uh, some sort of confirmation. They always leave me a feather to let me know that I'm on the right path, uh, to let me know that they are with me, to let me know and confirm that they've heard my prayers and my petitions. So hold on one moment because I'm feeling moved and inspired to show you my feathers because I feel like maybe some of you all may be finding feathers and you don't really understand the significance of it. And so um, as I just, you know, shared with you, those are very beautiful ways that our angels will communicate with us. Um, and let you know that they're walking with you and most of the time they're carrying you. So give me one moment, let me find this jar. So this is my jar, which is full of feathers. As you can see, there's feathers even deep down in here. There's so many, I can't even count how many. I, I tried counting it and I every time I try to count, <laughs> I lose count because I add more. But these are all of the feathers that I have found through the years. Um, just from nature walks and if you look you can see that it's pretty full even in the inside you can see them even down here so for many of you this is just a confirmation because some of you may have recently found a feather and you were just kind of searching like the meanings or maybe trying to understand what the meaning or the significance of that and this is your confirmation um, that that's your angels way your ancestors way of letting you know that you're on the right path and even confirming whatever it is you may have been asking in that moment. Uh, but to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Thank you so much for your loyalty and just for, you know, just showing love, rotating the love. I really appreciate you all. To anyone that may be new, that may be tuning in, tapping in for the first time, I go by the name of Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am a clairaudient reader, so the way that things work on my side of the planet is I utilize music in my readings and um, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it all correlates, 444 on the clock. As I said, your angels are with you. Those feathers uh, that they told me to show you was just a confirmation. So some of you may have been seeking some sort of confirmation, and here it is. Um, but back to uh, my breakdown. 
So I channel messages intuitively as well as clairaudiently. So I do incorporate music into my readings and the way that it works, name of the songs, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively and it all blends beautifully. Uh, my spill here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Take what applies, leave the rest. Um, there could just be a little tidbit. There could just be a little bit of, you know, just a little nugget of information. You take that, keep it pushing. Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video has popped up in your feed, that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloved. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a deep dive into the readings. If you haven't realized thus far, this is a deep dive channel. I... Um, provide deep dive readings. I like to, you know, delve into um, the messages. That is just a part of who I am as a Scorpio, a fellow Scorpio. I like to investigate. I'm a very investigative Scorpio. So I like to go deep within, um, you know, the information within the readings. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do a very deep dive for my beloved Scorpios. And then uh, we are going to um, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and do some inhales, deep inhales, exhales, just to get the, the blood flowing and just to, you know, start opening up the heart chakra, you know, start clearing the mind, start being open and receptive to the messages that are coming through from spirit. I'll say, uh, before we dive into the reading, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the read. I'll say. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo, beautiful souls. So what we have playing, um, I didn't even get it set up, but the time on the close out, let me at least show you that. It is 237, as you can see. That 237 breaks down to three. Three is the number of the Ascended Masters. So I feel many of you may have some angels watching over you because I was feeling inspired and motivated by spirit to show you my jar of feathers. And then we also saw 444 as I was showing those feathers to you. So I do feel like your angels, your guides are with you. They're protecting you. They're guiding you. But more importantly, I feel like there's perhaps a message that is going to be very prevalent in this reading for some of you. So strap in, as I said, uh, because this is going to be a deep dive. Um, that is why I pump out readings the way I do, because I do, you know, go deep and it does take a lot out of me. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's really, you know, uh, um, an energy tap. Uh, so right now, what we have playing right now, we've been having a lot of Harold Melvin, um, not Harold Melvin, but blue references, pardon me, in the past couple of readings, because we had like um, um, blue magic in a couple of readings, but this is Harold Mev Melvin and the blue notes, and this is called Let Me Into Your World, and this came out in 1977. Uh, I'm sorry, 1972, uh, and that also breaks down um, to one. So that's a one, because that one and that nine breaks down to ten. So tens um, deal with endings. Tens deal with uh, completions of cycles. Uh, ten is showing me that something is turning around uh, with world. Um, 
let me into your world, I'm definitely feeling like there's some sort of completion of a cycle because the world card is the last card of the major arcana. It is the 21st card. And we did open up the reading with that number three. So the breakdown of the 21 for the world card is three, which means that you have reached a level of self-mastery because that three is associated with the empress. If you're an emperor, same thing is applicable. Um, that speaks to someone who has been through a very long and arduous spiritual journey, but has graduated to a level of wise dome, someone who has been tried and tested, someone who has evolved and emerged, someone completely different. But this is a very strong, self-confident and assured, very assured type of energy. This is someone who knows their worth, knows their value and knows what they bring to the table. So they don't need the, you know, validation or the compliments from exterior world because they already know who they are and what they bring to the table. So this is someone that knows thyself. This is someone who has been through a very long journey of healing and growing. So there could have been uh, periods in your life where you have had some heartache and loss. You may have lost loved ones. You may have lost, you know, love, um, you know, been in relationships where you've put a lot of time and energy into them and they, you know, it met its demise. And so you had to recover from that. You had to heal from that. But in your recovery period, you've learned more about yourself. Um, with the let me into your world, I do feel like there is this energy of someone that you may have left behind because as you grow and as you mature, um, you cut yourself off from things that you may have discovered uh, was holding you back or hindering you, um, whether this be people, whether this be places that you may reside in, you may feel restricted or you may feel confined, um, whether this may be just your own belief systems and ideologies that were kind of keeping you in a lack or a scarcity mindset. Those are things that you will kill within you um, so that you can be reborn, so that you can go through that startling metamorphosis. So that's what the 21, the world card is all about. It's about tutelage and growing and learning in your process. And you become more mature. You, be, you be, gain a deeper and more profound um, understanding of yourself and how to navigate your, your life or now na navigate certain stances that you have um, been through. So this is a beautiful energy. Now things could be going really good. Some of you may be dealing with someone who may be named Harold, Melvin, or Davina. Um, I definitely get a sense of some of you all opening up your throat chakras as well. Speaking your truths, maybe you are utilizing some sort of creative or artistic gifts at this time to express yourselves. Maybe you found your voice through your healing process. You may have found some sort of gift or some sort of skill set that you may not have known you were, um, you know, that you may not have known you had or possessed. Um, and it feels good to start tapping into your inner alchemist, you know, you're tapping into that alchemical force. So it's really making you um, just feel more uh, satisfied. You feel more alive even because you're just you're doing what you feel you're destined to do or you're doing something that feels like second nature it feels like breathing it feels it just comes very natural to you so that's what i'm picking up intuitively let's see what the cards have to say there was a lot that came through so someone um definitely be feeling really good right now we have the number two patients on the bottom of the deck so i do get a sense you know many of you as i said um maybe un unlocking or discovering some certain gifts that you may have and some of those gifts may be like you're intuitive or you may be psychic you could be channelers maybe you're spiritual practitioners of some sort the two is associated with the high priest and high priestess so that really means that you do have some sort of divine knowledge or divine wisdom or that you have some spiritual gifts as i said tapping into that alchemical force um, of I imagination. So maybe you are utilizing visualization skills, tactics, techniques to manifest. Uh, maybe you are utilizing your ability to um, call in and draw in and set intention through either candle magic. Maybe you are penning or scribing in your journals. Um, but there's this energy of repetition. Uh, this is something that you do 
on a daily basis or this is something that you do consistently and that is going to generate some sort of results that you have really um you know been putting that intention into um manifesting um what i'm seeing now is 244 that's eight so i do feel um i'm sorry that's 10 that eight and that two is 10 so that's like destiny um because i'm seeing like the wheel again is turning in your favor something is turning around or something is going to work out in your favor is what i'm hearing but that 10 is associated with the wheel of fortune so i feel like whatever cycles that have completed you are now coming into a chapter in your life where you have some sort of happier moments because you have Davina still singing feels good so you're going to be feeling good in this next chapter in this next cycle of your life and it's because you have you know come to this point where you have released yourself from the things that may have been blocking you or things that may have been attempting to dim your light whether that be you know energy vampires uh, whether that be negative or low vibrational people or circumstances or as I said before uh, just in certain spaces that are just very low vibrational you've removed yourself from those type of settings um, with this too you trusted your intuition um, you trusted that gumption something led you there was a wise choice that you have made because that too is showing me like the two of wands where you could have been stuck at a fork in the road trying to choose wisely um, and you took time to go within to seek wise counsel and you were able to you know discover you know what was best for you or to determine what was best for you ultimately um, but this is definitely when you um, went within and, and you kind of contemplated maybe you you know meditated to get some things straight so let's see what we have on the split so on the split look at that we got 93 happy ending and then we have two and remember we had that uh, well it turned it went off but we have Atlantic star and so remember I was saying um, there was wish fulfillment because that star is, you know, is really sticking out to me. But that was called secret lovers. So for some of you, you may have like a secret admirer or someone that may has, you know, have some sort of deep emotions or feelings. Someone could be expressing these emotions because this 93 and 2 breaks down to 5. Um, but this also could just be speaking to you, loving yourself, learning to love yourself. Um, this could speak to you maturing, growing. Um, really honing those skills that I said with happy ending I feel things are improving I feel like there is this new you know this new cycle that's just bringing a lot of good energy you know things that you have endured in the past it's like you can't even imagine how happy you're going to be because for many of you 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 really did suffer a lot of heartache and loss in the past and I feel like it's because mostly the things that were in your environment um, there was a lot of external things and your internal world reflects, or I should say your external world reflects your internal world. So I do feel that that's the reason why you had to do a lot of healing at a soul level because you could have been carrying a lot of baggage. There could have been just a lot of karmic debts that you had to, you know, pay off. And now I see that you're having some sort of of new chapter in your life because this five is associated with that hierophant so for many of you that's tutelage that's growth that's spiritual strength that you've been able to acquire in this journey and it's because you've trusted your intuition you've trusted your inner gumption and it's also because you were very patient in this process you didn't rush it you know even though there were times where you may have grown impatient I feel like you just trusted the process and walked in faith. You know, we all have, you know, um, both God and Satan within, within us because God is faith and Satan is doubt. And when you doubt, you know, how things are going to turn out or you have doubts, um, that's when you're allowing, you know, that that shaitan energy to to overtake you you're not really you know walking in faith and trusting that things can turn out in your favor 1919 that's 1010 so that's showing me that there is in fact something that has ended something that was really painful came to a crash and burn 1010 reduces to 20 so there were some things in your life that you really needed to um learn from you know that's that trial and error energy uh, where spirit was testing you spirit was testing to see how you would uh, be able to 
withstand the tests or withstand certain circumstances, certain obstacles, challenges that you were facing. And you were able to um, overcome those things. And with that star energy, it's because you were very hopeful, very optimistic. You were, you know, really steadfast in your journey. And I also see that you were, you know, as I said earlier, I was picking up like ritualistic, whether this was like daily visualizations, um, you know, speaking your daily affirmations or speaking daily mantras, calling in, drawing in what you desire, setting your intention, being very um, specific about what you wanted. Um, you've turned pain into power in many ways. And that's why this happy ending is assured for many of you beautiful Scorpios. So that's beautiful. So let's tap into and see what's coming and going out, going on for my beloved Scorpio spirit. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? My spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. My spirit, what messages do you have? So there goes that communication I was picking up on. I saw that. And I see you also have a spiritual partner. We got 11 and we got 77. So that's 8-8. Eight, eight. So during the Lion's Gate, I do see that there's going to be some sort of wish fulfillment or blessing that's coming in because Atlantic Star is still singing secret lovers. So someone could very well take action or come towards you. There could be something, some movement. You know, that eight is like what goes around, comes back around again. This is an eight universal year. And this Lion's Gate is going to be especially special because August 8th, 2024 is 888. So that really is saying that there's something beautiful manifesting and materializing. I definitely see a sense of many of you. I've been out in nature. Um, as I was picking up earlier, some of you may be finding feathers. Some of you may be bumping into some sort of animal totems. Um, and it's really making you go within. This 11 is saying that you're getting your just due. I do feel like Mama Ma'at is going to, you know, turn some things around in your favor. I absolutely feel many of you are like psychics, intuitive, clairvoyants. You may have some sort of spiritual gifts. You may have spiritual uh, or occult knowledge, esoteric knowledge. Um, whoever you're meeting, you're meeting people that are on your frequency and vibration. You're meeting your soul tribe, your soul family. And I definitely feel like your connections moving forward are going to be very meaningful. Like you're not going to have these superficial connections or you're not going to find yourself in these connections where you're like, I have nothing in common with this person. Um, you know, you're going to find yourselves connecting with other like minds, A alike, B alike. Um, with this 74, this 11 and this 77, um, that 11 is like, there's going to be a lot of downloads that you get in nature. Um, if it's not too hot, um, definitely kick your shoes off and ground yourselves. Maybe meditate out in nature before it gets too hot because it's been super scorching out here in North Carolina. Um, but I get up really early, you know, between like six o'clock just to take my nature walks just so that I can, you know, connect because that's just a beautiful way to, you know, start my day. So, so for some of you, that's what you may be doing, that could be your routine where you're getting out early and you're making those connections out in nature. With this 77, I do get a sense of many of you, your crown is wide open and there could be some very profound downloads. Maybe you're having some sort of vivid dreams, lucid dreams. Um, maybe you're also picking up on someone's energy. I feel many of you are very, very intuitive, so trust your intuition. We have um, James Brown singing Soul Power. So as I'm speaking of like, you know, trusting your intuition, you have a very strong spiritual gift, but you're also very powerful. This came out in 1974. He's in Zaire. So many of you could be from Africa. So let's tap in. Some of you could have been born in 1974. Two cards chose themselves. Actually, it's three cards that chose themselves. This is the overall energy card. 74 is still on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like spirit is saying with soul power, um, I'm getting a sense of, you know, because the soul is the sun, um, soul lure. So the sun is giving power. So for some of you all, spirit is saying 
that it's imperative for you to go out and maybe you know do some sun gazing um, but also get some of that raw get some of that soul you know in you because it will power you up um, that sun is like a life force and it's also it's very indicative of strength so for if you have been like holed up in the crib up in the house you haven't been going out because you're using the excuse that it's too hot spirit is saying go outside and get some of that soul get some of that sun get some of that raw because it's gonna it's gonna power you up it's gonna supercharge you up and you'll be amazed at how um, rejuvenated you will feel when you go out in nature. Because uh, many of you, I'm just getting a sense of like this, this like, you know, maybe there's this sense of stuck, feeling stuck or feeling confused. And the sun is very luminous, you know, so you can get some really powerful downloads, confirmations, affirmations. You could get some of those things when you're out in nature. As I said, you might find a feather. So look what flew out. You got 93 happy ending. So with soul power, that sun, you know, that I'm referencing with soul, as I said, that soul in, um, in Spanish is, is, it means sun. So this yellow card is very indicative of the sun. So this is saying that you have some very happy times. This is like a new beginning of the dawning of a new day, but you're going to be elated. And I feel it has a lot to do with you being in your power. You know, the divine feminine and masculine energy is a very dualistic energy. They're very balanced and harmonized. And I feel like that's why you're feeling this. But you're also very in tune, um, in tune with spirit, in tune with yourself. And so this makes you feel even more empowered. The three is also associated with the solar plexus. And so there is this sense of you trusting your gumption or using discernment in whatever actions you take and whatever movements that you make, you always go according to how you feel or what, fe what feels right to you. So you trust your, um, you trust that gut instinct. You trust that. And that's what's led to this, you know, happy ending. I feel like, you know, by you being very obedient to spirit, by you having that connection and making sure to maintain that connection with spirit, with the universe, um, that's what's assuring this happy ending. So this is very beautiful. I also see that there's this feeling of like looking at things um, from a grander scope. Like, you know, maybe there was this... Um, you know, maybe there was in the past, like looking at things maybe more so pessimistically, but now there's like this energy of seeing, you know, the bigger picture, seeing things from a different perspective, because this 93 breaks down to 12. This could also represent someone else that could be looking at you and observing you and seeing you in a whole new light. Um, if this is you, you're in a very, um, a space of solitude. You know, when you're in solitude, that means there's inner work being done. You're not allowing the outside noise to influence you or distract you or confuse you or, uh, you know, steal your peace. You're very protective, um, you know, of, of the decisions that you're going to make. And I feel like some of the manifestations or some of, not manifestations, but some of those petitions you were sending up out into the ethers they are materializing, they are manifesting. And this could also be the reason why you have this happy ending because your prayers are being answered. Those wishes are being fulfilled. Those blessings are coming through for you. Um, and I just get well, with James Brown, someone's name could be James. Uh, someone could be from Georgia. Uh, Brown is really, really showing me that you, you feel very grounded. You feel rooted, you know, you feel very, very much like you're standing erect now. And that's another reason why you're happy because you're being your authentic self. The three is the empress and that empress and that emperor energy. They know their worth. They know their value and they set the tone. They make the, the calls. They, they, they are born leaders. You know, they are, um, very powerful. They're very attractive. Um, they're master manifestors. They know how to co-create with source to manifest whatever it is that they desire. And this is that energy of you taking action and you taking you know, things into your own hands and changing your reality. So whatever painful situation you've experienced now, things are getting happier for you. Things are improving. Things are um, becoming more harmonized. Things are becoming more balanced. And it's because you, you're, you're trusting your gumption this time around. This is beautiful. The next card you have is manifestation. I can't make this up. I just said you all are master manifestors. You could be setting intentions, setting up those daily petitions, 
daily affirmations. You could be speaking things into the ethers. You could be visualization. You could be utilizing visualization. You could be setting, you know, um, you could be doing candle magic. You could be doing whatever it is you're doing. It's like spirit is saying it's manifesting. So this is really showing that you, you have a wish fulfillment that's coming in perhaps in the month of August, you know, that there's this wish fulfillment that's going to bring a lot of happiness into your life, a lot of peace, a lot of joy. I feel you're going to feel very elated. I feel that this is something that is rushing in, like it's coming in unexpectedly. And this is based off the seeds that you've sowed in the past. And I definitely feel like this is according to your good deeds from the past. Because this 3 and this 8 is 11, which is the justice card. So spirit has acknowledged your effort. That's come out several times. This 8 and this 3, that's 11. Anything going into 9 is always that number. So I never even count the 9, you know. So this... Eight and this three is 11. So you're getting your just due. Things are going to turn around in your favor. And it's going to bring a lot of happiness. You're going to be emotionally fulfilled. You're going to be financially fulfilled. I'm hearing even. You're going to have an infinite supply. You also have this 44. That's another eight. So this is beautiful because this is saying it's in your environment. It's in your orbit. You could also be like really working hard and your, you know, your work, your hard work, your, your tenacity, your discipline, your drive, your ambition, those things are paying off in, you know, for you because you've been so focused. This is like, you've kept your eyes on the prize. You can see this is all green and this is all eight. So as I said, during the eight, eight portal, that eight, eight lions gate next month, you could have a wish fulfillment coming in. This is whatever you put out there. It comes back to you. That's why it's always important to, you know, put good energy out into the universe, you know, because you'll get back what you put out there. And that's what I see. I see that the souls that you have been planting, spirit is saying they're manifesting or they're producing, you know, it, it's harvesting and it's bearing fruit and it's green. You've also been healing at a soul level as well, as I said earlier healing from past pains, wounds, traumas, because this four is associated with the heart chakra. So this heart is very, you know, is healed. You know, whatever you've endured, whatever uh, painful situations you've learned from them, and it's made you stronger because the eight is associated with the strength card. So turning pain into power, turning pain into your superpower, your vulnerabilities into a superpower. Whatever hurts you, whatever was designed to hurt you, or whatever you felt was you know, painful, you turned it, turned it around in your favor, and you've discovered your, your, your skills, your talents, you've discovered um, your purpose, you've discovered your power even, and you're utilizing those things. So this seven and this three, that's 10, that's the wheel of fortune, something's destined to come to you. Something that's destined is, is it's coming quickly. It's coming so quickly that I feel like you're going to be you're going to be so surprised at the outcome of this. Like something is really going to just make you like, you're going to be surprised because you don't even see this coming. The level of joy that I'm picking up from these cards is just, it's amazing. This three and this seven, because eight and eight is 16. So that tower, as I said, it's like you didn't allow that tower moment to just leave you stuck and stagnant or leave you in a place of depression or feeling like, woe is me, the demise of whatever that was you had to clear out, that was a part of this process. You knew you were being tried and tested. And you've turned things around in your favor. And Spirit is saying this was a part of your destiny all along. Because that 10, that ending, is now, you know, ushering this brand new beginning. It's kicking off some sort of brand new beginning. You are on the precipice. If you have not already had a new beginning, you're on the precipice of a brand new beginning. So you got one, one, one here because the 74 breaks down to 11. So choose wisely, make wise decisions. I also feel like, you know, spirit is just confirming that you're getting your just due. You're getting, you know, you're, 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 you're like, I feel, I just get a sense of like many of you that have been like dismissed, um, abandoned, betrayed, deceived, whatever occurred in some of your relationships, I do feel like 
um, it was really painful. Even if this wasn't like a love ship, even if this was like a job you committed so many years and dedicated so much of your time and energy to, and then they just tried to do you dirty. You know, they didn't pay you your worth. They were trying to shortchange you. You know what I'm saying? Or people were jealous or, you know, just kind of envious and were trying to, to block your growth or block and stunt you um, from, you know, progressing or from, you know, leveling up. It's like all of that time and energy that you dedicated, you realize that that was almost like it was a roadblock for you. And that happened so that you can move on. It's like you've turned that situation and used it as fuel to, to you know, make all of your, your haters um, you, you know, to kind of like prove them wrong. So it's like, that was the fuel, you know, it was just like, you wanted to just prove all of those who were doubting you, all of those who were jealous and envious of you, prove them wrong in a situation. And so now they're watching you succeed and grow and elevate to levels that they never even imagined you'd, um, achieve. And you're even surprising yourself to some degree. This is powerful. So the 74 wish fulfillment. And we have Babylon, I use them brain. And so that means like, you know, because Babylon is like, you know, that's like, it's almost equivalent to the matrix. In, in when you think of Rastafari's, they, they, when they say Babylon is falling, it's like the matrix to me. That's, you know, how I kind of um, look at it. But it's saying a use them brain. So this is like ignorance, people who are easily like duped or manipulated. So who or what you're attracting to you. Maybe someone, because it says black woman and child. And as I picked up earlier, some of you could be from Africa because we had that song, um, um, so, um, Soul Power, and James Brown was in Zaire, Africa. So some of you could be from Africa. But with black woman and child, some of you all that are tuning in, you could be, you know, melanated sisters with children, and you've had to kind of endure this spiritual journey on your own. And still make sure that your children, as well as you, were, were safe. Kept the roof over your head. Kept, the, you know, like you kept food in their bellies and clothes on their back. And you continued to push forward. That's why you couldn't just sit down, wallow in, 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 in self-pity and just give up. Even if you're masculine, you know, with zero children, you still had to push past. You still had to push past those, um, those hurdles, those blockages. It's not easy for people to, you know, to take their healing seriously because you still got to live everyday life. So even in the process, we don't have the luxury of just taking time off because we're depressed or because we're sad or because our marriage failed or because, you know, even if we're sick, you know, some of us, we, we, we still have to go back to work and, you know, make money to keep a roof over our head and pay the bills, even when we're not at our best. But it's like, that's why I feel spirit and your angels and your ancestors were around you, encouraging you. They were like, I just see like cheerleading you on to keep going, keep going. You know, it's like they gave you that thunder, that fight. 56 relationship change, another 11. So many of you did go through some sort of breakup. If you have been single for quite some time, this is confirming that you do have someone coming in special because we had secret lovers and I was picking up like maybe you have a secret admirer. So let's tap in. Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message. So this card is trying to choose themselves. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. We got 67 physical activity. And that's 13. So someone could be going through some sort of startling metamorphosis or some sort of transformation at this time. Maybe this is just speaking to the transformation that you've endured and you're emerging someone new. This is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. This 13 is the death card. So as I was saying, killing versions of yourselves, whether it's ideologies, belief systems, people, places, things, getting rid of those things that were kind of hindering you or blocking you or preventing you, I should say, from elevating or growing or you know, evolving into your authentic self, best versions of yourself. This also breaks down to four, which could speak to a divine masculine who's going through some sort of transformation. This is like a major change. This is like some sort of major life change that someone is experiencing right now. And I feel it has a lot to do with love, self-love, knowing one's self-worth, you know, even becoming more emotionally intelligent. You know, I get a sense of also like, you know, this energy is showing that someone is being very, very um, dutiful, you know, very dutiful, if you will, like in, in this process. Teaching and learning. You could have been teaching someone. You could be the student and the teacher at the same time. 
So someone has been watching you because I was getting secret admirers. So for someone to secretly admire you, they would have to still be kind of watching, tuning in, you know, checking you out, observing you from afar, from a distance, you know. I was picking up 77 that there was some sort of spiritual connection you could have with someone as well. Right, chemistry. And we have right now playing um, nasty Nas. So, you know, someone may be having some sort of nasty thoughts. Someone may really be like, you know, I'm, I'm hearing self-pleasure. This could be a divine masculine. With physical activity, I feel like someone's going to be very, um, they're going to be very active. Like they're going to, they're going to show and prove. They're not going to just talk about it. They're going to be about it. So if someone's coming in to woo you and express this, these feelings of interest, you're going to know that they're interested because this is the type of person that will come in and gift you with a bouquet of flowers. They're going to be generous and, you know, treat you to dinner or take you out to do things, be romantic. You know, like this is somebody that's going to court you because they see your worth. They see your value. If this is a divine feminine, she's going to show her interest by perhaps, you know, cooking dinner for you or, you know, being thoughtful as well by gifting you with something that she knows you're interested in or she knows you have interest whether it be like a vinyl record of your favorite jazz artist or you know whether it just be like you know giving you a, a, you know some tickets to a basketball game you know whatever the case may be you know it's like there's there's this sense of generosity there's this sense of maturity. Like this isn't a selfish person. Give me, give me, give me my, my, mine. I want, it's like, this is someone who's, who's very reciprocal. Like they, they reciprocate, you know, those gestures. They have a healthy understanding of, um, love language, your love language specifically, because this four is, is showing me that their heart is opened. Their heart chakra is wide open. They have nasty thoughts about you as well. Someone could be from queen. Someone may think of you as a queen with nasty and we also have 32 music and it's telling me to look at that song again nasty so someone definitely has some nasty thoughts that they be thinking we got this four and this five which is nine so someone may see you as a wish fulfillment you know nine is definitely given like wish fulfillment because i'm seeing like the nine of cups but i also feel like this is someone who's like you know very private person this is someone who's also been working on themselves as well and we know that because we see this 13 you know physical activity so they've been very busy working on themselves. They've been doing just, uh, you know, almost like the same amount of inner work, spiritual work that you've been doing on yourself. And I feel like that's why you're coming into alignment with this person because they match your fly. This is someone that's like, you know, very wise as well, you know, because the hermit is a wizard. He or she seeks the answers from within. So they know not to go external searching for answers. They go within and that's why they're in this isolated place, in a space of solitude. And that's where I felt like you were for why, for quite some time as well, because you have been healing at a soul level as well. Maybe breaking generational curses, hexes, yoke spells, cutting yourself free from people, places, and things that were hindering you. Energy vampires, you know, very codependent relationships, toxic relationships, karmic relationships. That requires time to really do that work. That's why I was picking up like dutiful, even for this person, because they could be going through a very similar situation. With this one, because this is three, seven, that's one, four, five, five and five, ten. This is this is one again. So this this is definitely saying like someone is going through some sort of completion of a cycle. And things are about to start turning around because someone is learning from another individual. This 57 is 12. That's like the hermit. So someone has been kind of observing, looking at things from a different perspective, vantage, you know, a, a different vantage point, looking at things with a different lens from a different scope, seeing things clearly or clearer, seeing someone differently than they may have saw them previously. And this is the card that's on the bottom of the deck and I'm about to pull how they feel about you. And so they've been learning. And if this isn't them, this is you. You've been learning from someone. Someone has been teaching you because they've been observing you. Spirit has forced someone in a sacrificial position to learn and to grow and to mature and to change their way of thinking or change their perspective on a situation. So that's what this is showing me, that someone has been really healing in a situation because they have, um, they're being more obedient to spirit. And we have, um, who is this? Billy Preston. And it says, with you, I am, I'm born again. See that? 
So this is what someone is realizing that with you, they're born again with you. You know, they can, they can have the life that they want. They feel renewed. They feel like this rebirth almost like they feel um, like they can emerge as someone different with you. I'm born again. So it's like you give them that second wind. Wow. So who or what is, um, how does this person or whatever our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them feel about them? I just want to cut this deck officially because these cards have been choosing themselves. Thank you, spirit. Let's cut the deck. So how does this person or what our beloved Scorpios is attracting to them feel about our Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So I have one card that is um, loose and nine completion. What did I say? Wrapping up cycles, completing cycles. As I was saying, you was also in a hermit mode. That's a bonus message. I'm going to still cut my deck again, but I'm going to give my cards a bang, bang, bully. Someone's name, a, a bang, bang, boogie. Someone's name could be Billy or Preston. And we have rebirth. That's I was speaking to startling metamorphosis and having some major rebirth here. Someone is going through that rebirth. And that's why, you know, something is done. You know, the completion of a cycle means that you've learned the lessons that were being taught to you. Spirit is, is move, graduating you. Remember when we started the reading, it was three and I was picking up the world energy, the world card, because we had that song, um, that referenced world. And I was breaking down how the 21st card, Major Arcana, is the three. And so that just speaks to you, you know, kind of graduating to that level of self-mastery as the empress and the emperor does so the bottom of the deck this is how someone who or what you're attracting to you feels about you and as i was breaking down <laughs> that three and there goes the three again three creativity and the nine and three is 12 yet again so this is how someone feels and remember we have 93 here happy ending so how someone feels is you bring them joy you bring them happiness as they said, with you, they're born again. So you make someone feel, you know, brand new. And I'm hearing that song. You make me feel brand new. For God blessed me with you. I'm hearing that. So someone definitely is seeing you from a different perspective. Like, you know, maybe they have some you know, some wrong opinion of you in the past. Because as I said, secret admirer energy. So this is obviously someone you know, you bump into, maybe even perhaps someone that you have planted seeds and roots with because we have this 44 environment. So someone now could be wanting to come in and build, you know, maybe they destroyed something in the past and they want to rebuild. But with this 12, someone is seeing you in a different, a whole different way because we saw that teaching and learning earlier. So you have been teaching someone and what they realize is that you have, you know, this, you're a luminous, you're, you're wise, you're loving, you're, you're attractive, you're a master manifester, you're powerful, you know, you, you are this matriarch or patriarch, you know, you're someone very strong, strong willed, you're a master manifester, like you, you just have many attributes and characteristics that bring joy to someone like they feel rejuvenated they feel revitalized around you there's something within your energy within your spirit you know and this is what a lot of people may feel when they come around you which is why you had to kind of you know you had to analyze your cipher and the people that you were um, around and interacting with because a lot of people were kind of zapping your energy because they weren't putting out what they were taking. You know, it, your relationships have to be reciprocal. You can't be around a bunch of takers because you'll be left depleted or emotionally bankrupt. You know, so you had to kind of re, you know, restructure things in your life and establish boundaries with people who were, um, as I said, just takers. What we have here on the bottom of the deck, we're about to pull what's hidden in the energy is 48, financial discipline. So I do feel like you've been really mastering your craft and honing some sort of skills. Like you're, you're also becoming more skilled, more, um, you know, you're becoming more um, literate in whatever this is. Like it, you're, you're just becoming knowledgeable. You know, I feel like you're gaining some level of knowledge or some level of wise dome. And this is generating like more business. This is 
just increasing your value in some way. And we have Mickey, Tony Basil. Someone's name could be Tony. Someone's name could be Mickey. And remember, I was picking up on spirit, like cheerleading you on. And this is like their cheerleaders in this video. This is, hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. That's this song. But in the video, it's like they're all like cheerleaders and doing, you know, all of these cool cheers. And I used to be a cheerleader in Harrington, <laughs> Harrington Elementary back in the day. But this is what I'm seeing. I was picking up on that earlier. And there goes this video showing that. And if you look, there's 144,000 um, likes on that video. So this is, remember, I was confirmed, like, this is confirmation. Remember, I was saying spirit was, your angels are cheerleading, cheering you on, rather. And look at the likes, 144,000. And remember about 144, you know, the significance of that, the chosen ones, those who are anointed. And I was picking up on many of you are in fact anointed and you have these gifts and you have these talents that you are here to you know help heal the collective so divine spirit of peace power and protection thank you spirit that's hidden in the energy let me get a message of peace power and protection 66 healing see that turn pain into power the card that came out we got patience that was in the split so what's hidden is spirit is reminding you to be patient. Good things take time to create. I also feel this is spirit's way of acknowledging your patience in this journey because this is past tense. You know, patience is past tense. So spirit is, is really acknowledging your patience. Spirit could also just be reminding you patience is a form of action. Patience is key. Don't try to rush things. We got Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock. And it says it takes two. So I do feel like spirit is saying, you're going to hit the home base. You know, you're going to get to the home base. Just be patient. And with it takes two. Yeah, it takes two. This is the number two. So two, like I said, that's the high priest, high priestess. So it takes two. It takes you to choose wisely because two is about choices. It's about decisions. So choose wisely. It takes for you to not be stuck in two minds, but to be very solid and very clear on which direction you wish to go in or what you wish to um, do so choose wisely be patient meditate get it straight contemplate and do it all over again and again and again until you feel confident in the decision or the choice or the action that you choose with synchronicity you may receive those downloads out in nature as I was telling you remember we have the feathers that could be a sign you may bump into certain animal totems you know I've been seeing um, I saw falcons I saw cardinals I see litters lizards um, some of you I'm hearing, you may see a snake and snakes are very symbolic of also like growth. You know, it, it, it speaks to growth. It speaks to maturity. You're leveling up, you know, because the snake outgrows its skin. So it has to shed, you know, so I'm seeing that that also speaks to spiritual awakening because that's like the Kundalini rising. If you think of the snake going up the spine. So there's many meanings and significances, uh, significance um, to these animal totems that we see. That's why I said, like, you know, being out in nature, you, you will be um, amazed at some of those connections. You may just be walking and a car drives by and you'll see 888. You know, you may see some of these numbers, 888-777-666-333-444-555-999-999. You know, you may see 1111. But this is just confirmation from spirit. Some of you may be having recurring dreams or dreams with, you know, a beloved ancestor that may be coming to you in your dreams. And there, there's something that that ancestor, you know, is, is communicating with you. And you may need, um, you know, to kind of get some assistance to find out what that is. I don't know if you, you know, go to like a spiritual practitioner to see, you know, if they can kind of decode the dream or do your own research and due diligence to decode what that dream means. But there is a message that I feel that someone's ancestor is communicating with them. So we have one. So this is three. So three is, and it's also like, you know, trust your gumption because the three is that solar plexus. 
And the solar plexus is like your second brain. For some of you, spirit is saying you need to go and get some, um, you know, just make sure your gut is good. Your gut health is very important. You know, some of you may be having like some, some um, stomach issues. You know, I picked up on this in a former reading. Some of you may have like, you know, um, I'm hearing constipation. I'm hearing like even ulcers. I'm hearing like maybe there's some, um, just some, some sort of like cramping and maybe some of you feminines have fibroids or some sort of um, stomach uh, pains that you need to go and just get like, you know, get it looked at. I'm not trying to put fear, but your health is your wellness. And if you're feeling that, remember what I said about that third chakra, that's where a lot of, you know, a lot of blocked energy, you know, that that's from pain and trauma, you know, it, it is stored in your solar plexus and it can affect your health tremendously because that's your chi, you know, your chi energy is, is your power. So if your gut is not um, in the best state, then it can affect your overall health. So go get your stomachs checked out. Even if you need to detox, you know, even if you need to like recalibrate your body by like even doing a fast for seven days, just not eating any cheese, any eating any dairy, eating any meats, but just like flush your system with just water, maybe like leafy vegetables, watery fruit like watermelon and and uh, pears and apples and ju you know uh, oranges and things you know cucumbers and things like that. Drink teas, take some tinctures also. Maybe even um, do bitters, you know, just to reset, recalibrate, you know, because I feel like there's something blocked in the gut. And maybe there's been something, you know, kind of, you know, kind of alarming you or giving you some forewarning. Maybe you go and you turn on the TV and they're talking about the stomach or you go to your, your YouTube video and somebody's talking about the stomach, the gut. And those are, that's you know, just signs, confirmations like, yo, this is for you, a message for you. So, you know, check, just check in, you know, tap in, you know, see what's going on with your health. Your health is your wellness. So you don't want to be, you know, out here uninformed. So 66 with healing. That's what a lot of you have been doing is just healing, making sure to um, be a healthier version of yourself, a better improved version of yourself even. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. So these two cards have chosen themselves, and I'm going to take it. Bottom of the deck, we got four. That's the heart chakra. See that? Love of self. You've persevered through some difficult times. That's what pain, you know, turning pain into power looks like. And we got gang star. It's another star reference, but code of the street. So many of you have been very disciplined, very, you know, obedient. You've been following the code. You've been following you know, the right path. You've been very righteous, even in the decisions that you've made, you know, you've persevered over some obstacles, challenges, but you have maintained this sense of, you know, self-love. And we see 444 here. So your angels are very pleased with you. I just picked up, you know, that cheering you on card. So I do feel like they're recognizing your efforts, you know, with Gangstar, you have wish fulfillment coming through. You've persevered through some things and you're solid. Like you're a solid person. Like you've definitely have come into your own. You know, it's like you've embraced certain circumstances. You didn't let things break you. It's like you've embraced everything. As I said, you've been tried and tested. And through those, those tests, you have emerged someone completely different. Transformed into your greatest more powerful version of yourself. And this is beautiful. And what did I say about you being a student and a teacher at the same time? The outcome is teaching and learning. So whether you realize this or not, you are teaching others. You very well may be a teacher. You could be a counselor. You may be someone who has a platform and others are tuning in and, and, and you know, kind of learning from you. You could be disseminating some sort of information that's very uh, helpful and healing to the collective or to your audience, but you're helping to heal and teach others. And you're teaching them based off of the lessons that you've learned on your path. 
and they're seeing your you know your evolution they're seeing the evolution and the growth of you in the process but the outcome is showing that this is why you're in this sense of solitude is because you're still in this this growing period you know is that this is like you're still growing still healing still learning and we have leadership so you're taking on this role now as a leader as a boss as i said with the world card that's what you become you know the empress and the emperor they rule empires they are born leaders they make things happen they call the shots they are master manifestors so you are taking on this role as a leader as a healer as a shaman as a light worker you know even being a leader in your own personal life you know as i said many of you could be like single mothers or you could be single fathers or you may just simply live on your own and you are in you know control of your household and you have to make wise decisions in order to have continued success but this is a very beautiful energy of showing you are absolutely in your power you're no longer rendered powerless you're no longer um suffering from heartache and loss whatever time you took in solitude to assess and to analyze or to re-strategize it's like you're walking away now you know as as a wiser person because that nine is the hermit and that hermit knows the answers they seek are found within and that's what you took took time to assess your situation or to just kind of like look back in awareness and learn from you know some of the mistakes they say smart people learn from you know their mistakes whereas wise people learn from the mistakes of others and i feel like that's what you've done instead of becoming cold and calculated and vindictive and resent you know having resentment and animosity towards individuals that may have hurt you you just learned that you realized and learned like oh okay i saw this happen and play out in a former situation with a friend of mine or from other people i know where their situation didn't turn out the way that they wanted and they very well may have become very bitter and so you learned to take a page out of you know that book and say you know what I'm going to do things differently I'm not going to let anyone steal my joy you know I'm not going to let anyone steal my thunder even I'm going to stay focused on my my journey my path and I'm going to be responsible for my actions I'm going to take onus and accountability so that I'm not a victim and this is why you have leveled up and graduated. So what we have is this one, what is that? 1 4 5. That's 1 4 6 12 3 6 so 6. So there's victories and success coming through for you. All of these cards break down to 6. So I see that there's some sort of breakthrough, some sort of like the old, the road is opening up for you. You know, it's like the path is open, the roads are open, and it's because things are turning around now in your favor. And the Spirit is saying you was hustling. We got smooth the hustler, and it says hustling. So you've been like hustling. I'm seeing like hustle and bustle, like just busy, moving. You know, you haven't just gotten, you know, um, what do you call that, like complacent. You know how many people become very complacent or they just become a victim because it's, it's so much easier to blame other people than to just take onus and accountability and do the work to heal or to improve or to grow. That's why so many people take the easy route. Like you did this to me or you, it's always someone else's fault and not their own. Yeah, someone could have cheated on you. I'm not taking that away, the pain that could have caused and the setback, but it's like, yo, they did it. Okay, it's done, now move on. What, what can you do to heal? We don't wanna focus so much on the problem because it's already done, it's done. There's nothing you can do about it. But what can you do to move forward? What can you do to heal? What can you do to improve? What can you do moving forward to ensure or assure that you don't, you don't repeat that cycle again? What about yourself is attracting those type of individuals? Or what about yourself, you know, um, is making that a part of a, you know, a constant in your life? That's what we have to do. We, we are responsible for ourselves. And that's what I see you did here with the teaching and learning. Someone came into your life to teach you some harsh lessons, particularly about love. They broke your heart, you learned from it. The 12 breaks down to three, getting the three of swords. And now it's made you stronger and wiser because you took the time to look back in awareness. The nine, you know, the hermit is a wizard. He knows the answers are found within. 
and now things are going to be moving smoothly because you're no longer looking for someone else as the, you know the scapegoat to what you endured you know for what you've experienced in your situation so let's tap in and see what the cards have to say that's just what i'm picking up intuitively beloved so we're going to clarify these messages and then we'll wrap it up i say yo so we're going to get some messages from you know what i'm kind of feeling uh, do i want to use these cards what's on the bottom of this is 34 7 so i do feel like you're being more assertive i do feel like there's things are balanced out because this says the door to personal healing and happiness that sounds like success to me you know that definitely sounds like success that sounds like things are definitely opening up in a huge way and things only improve when you do what's necessary to um you know to change your circumstance and what did i say you got some folks that are envious and jealous because you've moved on because and let me put it where it makes sense these people could be watching someone is seething at your ascension or seething at your growth seething at the fact that you have moved on this could be someone who's going to receive karma you know for the way that they may have behaved in the past or maybe someone is ex already experiencing some sort of karmic debt so you know when you're envious of other people that's when you're looking at someone else's life and you are comparing yours to them we don't walk the same walk we don't have the same journey so what someone else has has nothing to do with you work harder try harder do better but to be sitting here envious of another person because they're having some sort of rebirth you know you see this dove it's very symbolic of a rebirth so it's like you've gone through this rebirth this startling metamorphosis and it says when i'm near you and this is the foster sis um foster silvers foster silvers so with foster some of y'all were living in foster um foster homes you grew up in foster homes i'm hearing and maybe some of the children like the biological children of the foster parents could be jealous of you because regardless of what you've endured you've made something of yourself even if you were adopted or even if it's somebody in your family that took you in it's like you're doing better than everyone that was in that home because you kept your eyes on the prize and you did not allow people to to block you to stop you to 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 prevent you from growing or evolving as i said you're going to have a lot of people that are doubting you or you've had a lot of people that were doubting you a lot of people that were wishing bad on you praying on your downfall and you're proving them all wrong and that's just making them even more envious and jealous because you're having this happy ending regardless of what they could have been doing whatever regardless of what they could have been trying to pull and that 34 is still on the bottom of the deck with the shuffle so these cards are choosing themselves and i'm going to take it happy ending and then we got this um woman holding a um, heart so yeah you're protecting yourself this is you guarding yourself this is 44 8 so this is what you're doing with environment the seeds you've sowed that's another 44 so you're protecting yourself in your heart protecting your peace from people who could have you know previously um you know been wishing you harm like you're fully aware of who your haters are you're not confused you're not ditzy you know who is who out here you know even the people smiling and beguiling in your face you feel their energy before anything so you're not confused you're not confused and that's why you're protecting your heart that's why you are holding it away from them because until they show and prove you're you're not going to just be giving it away to anyone like especially your hub your love or your your heart we got shot day nothing compares nothing can come between us so i want to see what these cards are that flew out and we got happy family so nothing's going to come between this new connection that you are developing with someone because you got happy family and then you got happy ending here so someone could very well be trying to come in and trying to um sabotage a situation or come in between a situation even if this it's just like you got a happy family happy ending i told you you got something beautiful coming in this is wish fulfillment hi katara hi use your intuition don't let anyone dupe you or confuse you you know because that's what their intentions are with Shade saying nothing could come in between us 
I definitely feel someone could be to potentially be trying to come in between you. And this is another eight. 1988, this came out. So that's 80. That's um, that's another eight. And this is, you got eight. Eight. And then you got eight. So some of y'all may have some sort of wish fulfillment coming in during that 888 portal, as I said. So whoever's trying to come in between you and this happy ending, which could also, you know, make you and your family, like I'm just seeing the family is just going to be elated. You could have a new person coming in that's going to, you know, make the family whole, bring that balance, bring that harmony to the family um, structure. Next, you have angel of love. So restoring the love, restoring that heart chakra that I was picking up earlier. That's why you're super protective, you know, and, and this angel is just saying, you know, it's, it's helping to heal that heart, helping you to open up that heart. Whoever's coming in, as I said, they're going to be very attentive. Even this is the eight, four and the 49. So you got a lot of eights here. This just confirming wish fulfillment, blessings, something coming in unexpected. You could receive news or a message. Cause I see like, you know, whether this be my, by means of like, you know, receiving a message from someone online, an email, or maybe someone DMing you, someone commenting under a video, you have Archangel, um, Raphael deals with the heart chakra. I was just talking about the heart and this angel of love. So you got your angels. Remember we had the angels showing up 38. Archangel Raphael help he's helped you to heal this heart chakra and he's also bringing someone that's going to help to to nurture and foster remember we had foster so this this person is going to foster you know and nurture this this connection we also have strategy so they could be trying to strategize a way in planning preparing and this is a 21 they could be at a distance and they're doing all of this work. They're doing their due diligence because they see you as a divine feminine or a divine masculine. So they know they have to get their thing together if they're coming towards you. So they could be strategizing a plan. They could be getting some assistance from their angels and their guides, meditating to get it straight. What did I say about you all having a victory? I told you there was victories and success coming in. I was seeing that instantly. It's just like the roads are opening up. Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmations. We got summer afternoon. Someone may reach out to you during the summer. In the afternoon, you will have some sort of conversation with someone. And this is um, Lonnie Liston. And it says silhouettes. So this 44, 67 um, physical activity and 32 music is what we're breaking down. This is for who or what you're attracting to you. So someone definitely can, you know know and feel and sense that you're very guarded and protective because they have been watching you've been teaching them we have this blossoming abundance here so what did i say about those seeds that you've sowed in good faith they are harvesting and they are producing fruit they are growing leaves you know this is a beautiful energy that you are attracting to you and this is someone that also has been very patient as well in this process so let's tap in so who or what is our beloved scorpios attracting to them i'm just cutting the deck so we could get a clear and concise message divine spirit of peace power and protection someone's name could be lonnie liston or smith first middle or last thank you spirit bottom of the deck and we have happy ending. We started the reading with this card and here we are. And what did I say about you going through extreme pain and heartache and loss? Maybe even losing loved ones, losing careers, jobs, your, your independence. But there's a happy ending here. The door to personal healing and happiness is here. And that's just a double confirmation. Matter of fact, a triple confirmation. This is all triple confirmation, beloved. Happy, happy, happy. Three times, three is the charm. Spirit is confirming you will be happy in this next cycle. <laughs> I can't make this up. So whoever this is that's coming in, they're asserting themselves. At 34 is seven, that's the chariot. So they find finding balance, harmony, and emotional equilibrium within themselves. And they're also trying to, be, to um, assert themselves to come towards you. Because remember, we had nothing could come between us. And then I was also seeing that someone was taking their time with that strategy card to kind of like, you know, choose 
the right course of action or the right approach. And you can see that there's a key and keys open doors. So they're trying to do the right thing that's going to open the door, you know. And there's going to be victor victory here. How someone feels about you, heartbroken. Perhaps because they're looking at you, as I said, from a completely different perspective now. Realizing you are sun, you are love, you are purity, you are kind, compassionate, thoughtful, empathetic, you know, emotionally intelligent, you're a safe space, and they're heartbroken. This is someone that has really, you know, they could have been blind, because I see him like with these shades, and it just reminds me of someone who may be, because um, I originally thought that was Stevie Wonder when I just glanced at it. And Stevie Wonder is blind. He's visually impaired. So I was picking up like someone could have been blind to the fact of who you are. You know, blind to the fact that, you know, and that's why they're being forced to look at you from a different perspective or see you in a different light. And with this completion, it's like you're not looking back. You're, you're moving forward, upwards and onwards. So why is this nine completion three creativity here for who or what my beloved Scorpios are tracking? Those cards were on my thumb and I'm going to take them. We got six chakra. Remember, I told you trust your intuition, and this is Archangel Metatron. So, for many of you, you definitely are highly in tune, intuitive, psychic, clairvoyant, clair clairaudient. You are someone very connected, as I was picking up. Super amplified when it comes to your psychic abilities. Very powerful energy. We got the Temple Path, and this is the number twelve. So that's twelve and twelve. That breaks down to. Um, to six so three and three is six so spirit is saying like this person how they feel about you is they see that you are someone um they, they can have some sort of you know equal give and take because the six is associated with the lovers in traditional tarot so they can see themselves having some sort of divine union or spiritual partnership this could even be someone that may see you as like like a twin flame or soulmate or past life love. We got uh, Eddie Kendrick's intimate friend. So this could be a former friend or a friend from your past, someone you grew up with. With six, I got, I do feel like this person could see like marriage because this is like a gazebo. This is where people usually like have marriage ceremonies. And I see a lot of lamps and light. And so that's just confirming that this person is having this final epiphanous moment looking at you, looking at the situation from a different perspective. And this time apart, time away, you know, this this time where they've been absent from your life has just brought a lot into perspective, perhaps. But I do get a strong sense of this person, like, really having um, this feeling of, like, like you've moved on or you've moved away because this nine completion, you know, is showing that you, 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 you're you done. You may have cut this person off. You're very guarded in this person's eyes. Remember we saw that woman holding a heart away from someone and that could be how someone's perceiving you. We also have community. So you are receiving a lot of, you know, guidance and protection from your angels. You know, whenever you see these orbs of light, I feel like they are, you know, kind of lighting the path, but also giving you instruction they're being your support system six and seven is 13 so that 13 breaks down to four this could be a divine masculine you know someone's angels and guides this could even be your guides you could be um having someone kind of like coming into alignment like this could be someone aligning with you because i see these chalices there's two chalices here never noticed that before but there's one there and one there and remember, I was picking up like someone that was made in your likeness, A alike, B alike. Like this is someone equal give and take. So maybe someone's angels, guides, maybe this is your angels and guides that are kind of kind of aligning you with the right person or trying to align them, you know, prepare them. But intimate friends, maybe this is an opportunity to become, you know, take things to, you know, a, um, a deeper level. A more serious level this could be as i said someone you've known from your past so why is this two patients 87 synchronicity here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit look at that envy and jealousy this is the deceit card so this is what's hidden that's what spirit was telling you be patient patience is a form of action 
choose wisely. Remember what I was saying, you know, contemplate, get things straight. There goes the third chakra I was speaking to. Trust your inner gumption. Trust that inner wisdom. There you got the magician and the mirror. So you are someone who is fully capable of manifesting your reality. Someone is trying to manipulate you. You know, they see that you are manifesting something new. They see that you're having these... Um, these new beginnings in your life or success in your life, whether in love and happiness. And this is someone that's, you know, a little jealous. We saw the envy card. Now we see deceit. So this is someone who could be really um, trying to manipulate a situation. And you're fully aware the crown is illuminated. You know how to co-create with source as well. So you are a master manifester as well, just as I said, as a divine feminine, divine masculine. Someone is really jealous and envious of your um, evolution, of your growth. You got some real haters around you. And I feel like spirit is reminding you to just trust your gumption. This 15 is also the devil. You know, that 15 is the devil. And then this energy here also looks like the devil to me as well. Seven deadly sins. So this is someone that could be just, you know, greedy, manipulative, speaks with a forked tongue. Like I said, smiling and beguiling. This is definitely someone who's trying to manipulate. You can see he has something in his hand that he's trying to manipulate. Could be trying to manipulate your energy. Make sure that you protect your energy, protect yourself. Use your first eye to see. And remember, spirit said nothing can come between us. So this person could be trying to sabotage a situation. And we have enchantment sunshine. So spirit is telling you, regardless of what this devil could be doing or trying to conjure up, the sun is still going to shine. You're still going to be fine. You're still going to be good. And even with this angel here, you got a lot of angels showing up. And you also have a confirmation of victory and success anyway. So whoever this person is, this miserable energy jealous and envious of your success or of your growth that that is such a wasted energy that is such a low vibration and they're just jealous and envious because you've cut them off and so you know remember what i was saying they could also be trying to do things to affect your health or affect you you know when you are have when you have these type of attachments those things can affect your health and remember i was picking up on some of you needing to do some you know, go and get some studies, maybe do some fasting, um, maybe do a cleanse, detox, you know, go get some sort of like, you know, assessments even because some of you maybe, you know, maybe have been suffering, especially like the gut. I was hearing gut. Why is 57 teaching and learning 881 leadership here for the um, outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace. Power and protection spirit. Minus 57, teaching and learning. 81, leadership here for the outcome for my love Scorpios. We get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. See that walking away. So this is definitely someone you've walked away from. And so, you know, maybe this is someone that didn't think you had it in you to walk away, to leave them behind. But I definitely was picking up on you leaving someone and behind that you felt was just kind of stunting your growth or just not healthy for you you know when you got somebody like this and then that envy card that we saw earlier that's not some and that's not love that's not that's not um welcoming energy so we have two journey i told you y'all have been on a spiritual journey and that's why you have you know this energy of just like learning and growing and as you've been on your spiritual journey of growth you know spiritual um, awakening or this, this, you know, the spiritual ascension that you've ex experienced. It's like, you're still teaching others, but this journey has been very, very illuminous. Nonetheless, you've made a right decision and you've chose to continue your journey, continue moving forward in the right direction. You got 41 seventh chakra Archangel Uriel. So you trusted your intuition and that's why you are on this path and it's leading you to your personal healing and happiness. It's leading you to having a happy ending. It's leading you to a happy family. Hostility. Someone's very hostile. Someone is butt hurt that you're moving on. Someone's butt hurt that you're leaving them behind. They may try to, you know, um, you know, try to 
entice some sort of like argument or back and forth that's an energy drain do not get caught up in arguing with fools because people on the outside will not know who's who so do not get like duped into arguing with someone you know and don't allow anything that anyone has done to you in the past to affect what you're doing in the future like what you're moving what movements you're making in the um in the future you know what i'm talking about like don't allow anyone to manipulate you so let's get some messages from tarot and then we're gonna wrap it up ah uh, she so we have so this is the fool so the fool represents like, you know, taking a leap of faith, moving forward on this card. This is the dark grimoire deck. So this always makes me feel like, you know, someone is finally like seeing something for what it truly is. These are a lot of demons and goblins and gooblins and, you know, shaitan energy. And someone's finally having that epiphanous moment. You can see the sun. It's a completely different depiction of the fool card in this deck. But this is showing like he's like bound in this, um, they call that a, um, I can't remember the term, but it's like what they put people in, in insane asylums um, in this, but this person is finally realizing and discovering like all the, the hate, all the jealousy they had around them. And this light is finally allowing them to see things clearly. You know, this is these are people that they had in their inner circle or people they could have trusted in the past, people that they could have allowed, um, you know, in, you know, gave them some details about their life and now they're seeing that those individuals were definitely jealous and envious there goes the judgment card these people will be judged by their actions same as you so you could have really learned a lot from those connections but with this judgment card that i referenced earlier with that 1919 we saw earlier um that was showing that you know these individuals will have to pay for whatever karmic debts that they accumulate just like you had to and I feel like with this judgment, it's like someone is having that wake-up call because we saw that Archangel Raphael. And maybe that wake-up call is realizing that they want a fresh start. We got the Ace of Pentacles, so you definitely will have some sort of you know financial freedom that I was picking up, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. That's what that happy you know ending is all about as well. Like things are starting to turn around. Your finances are improving. You're becoming more financially literate or secure. So divine spirit, peace, and protection. Let me get a message from my love Scorpios. We have American Gangster at, um, across 110th Street. That's an old um, black exploitation film. Some of y'all could be from Harlem. Someone's name could be Bobby. That's the person that uploaded it. That's the name I see. Someone could also be from Brooklyn because that's from... Um, that's... Um, I believe that's uh, Jay-Z's album, American Gangster. Uh, spirit of Peace, Power, Protection. Let's clarify the overall energy for my beloved Scorpios. Clarify these messages for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Uh, spirit of Peace, Power, Protection. Clarify the messages. One more. And I see the magician here along with the knave of pentacles so you are manifesting something new you are and have been keeping your eyes on the prize and honing your skills honing your gifts for our spirit of peace power and protection what messages do you have for my beloved scorpios what's the overall energy for my beloved scorpio spirit let me get a message of peace power and protection what is the overall energy for my beloved scorpio spirit Thank you, Spirit. And we have the Knave of Chalices. So this is a message of love. This is emotional, um, like an emotional message. Someone is kind of like offering you something. Because you have the angel of love. You have a happy ending, happy family. This could be very indicative of a new love offer. Someone coming in, perhaps that secret admirer. This could also be someone, you know, that's really going to express some feelings. Maybe someone lives across the street from you. We have on the bottom of the deck the five of chalices. And we're about to pull a card for who or what you're attracting to you. So someone could very well be leaving another situation behind. Um, as I was picking up with this 13, that's the death card. So someone is actively like 
making decisions to leave people, places, and things behind because I was getting a sense of you mirroring this person, you're attracting to you, going through similar life lessons, experiences, circumstances, but someone is leaving a situation behind, making a decision to go in a different direction. And that's why this door to personal healing and happiness is here because someone's finally choosing themselves. This could even be you, you know, moving away from, you know, volatile circum, you know, volatile and hostile connections and into, um, more loving and, um, attentive, caring connections. Someone's name could be Roger. We got Zap and Roger. Remember I was talking about someone like zapping your energy. So that's what you're doing. Walking away from people, places, and things that may have been like zapping your energy, like an energy vampire. And this is called, I want to be your man. So someone's going to confess that they want to be your man. And we have the Knave of Swords. They go and they're watching you because the Knave of Swords, that's like someone is kind of eye spying. So this person has been watching. You got a lot of pages. You know, this page is sitting here. They want to offer you love. They want to express these feelings. The 32 music, you know, and this is clarifying this message. I want to be your man. Someone is going to confess, you know, or admit that they want to be your man. And this is going to open up a whole new chapter, perhaps in both of your lives. This is going to be someone very forthcoming and very truthful and honest. Let's clarify. Why is this nine completion? Three creativity, 12 temple path, seven community. Thank you spirit for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios. And we have the name, um, the knight of wands. So there is definitely someone taking action. I feel like someone's taking action. The bottom of the deck, we have the seven of wands. So they're taking action, but they are fearing that you're going to be a little guarded. As I was saying, because the seven of wands is like guarding and protecting your energy. This is like kryptonite to these demons and goblins. They're kind of standing clear of him because he's showing this light. So you are very illuminous. Remember, that was what I was picking up with this all yellow card creativity. Maybe you have gifts and skills and talents that others could be jealous of. You know, maybe this is putting you in the limelight. Maybe your skills, gifts, and talents are what draws a lot of people in. And some of those people are a little envious, a little jealous. You know, maybe if it's not the people tuning in, maybe it's the people around you that are jealous from your success or jealous from the fact that you have, you know, made something of yourself. Whatever the case may be, it's like you're, you're moving full upward and onward, like you're taking off. Whatever this is, you're taking off. Why is this two patients, eight, um, 87 synchronicity, 25 deceit, 53 magician in the mirror. We got the judgment. So what did I say? This person is going to get their just due as well. They're going to get their karma is going to be, um, whatever they put out, they're going to get back. Let me just say it like that. So whoever this deceitful, jealous, envious person is, trust me, you know, what goes around comes back around again. Card that flew out. We have the Knight of swords. A lot of knights, a lot of pages here. So whoever this is, because this is the same type of energy, that hostile person trying to come in and cause some sort of confusion or trying to stir up some drama, they're going to receive. Maybe this is something they did in the past because this is what's hidden. Spirit is reminding you, use your first eye to see because that's all I see on this, this horse or whatever this animal is. There's like a first eye, but then the sword is wide, is, is up. And I feel like you are already on it. You're highly intuitive as well. You know how to utilize the elements around you as well of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. And you're also like co-creating. You're tapping into your alchemical force to, you know, com you like combat whatever the hell this, de this, dem this demon seed, this devil is trying to do. Let me get one more message to clarify. Thank you, spirit. What did I say about justice? I can't make this up. Someone is going to get justice in this situation. And I feel like you're going to get your just due. And whoever this is, is going to receive karma for trying to throw things at you. Because whatever you've been doing, you've been doing it from a pure place. And we have dove here. Remember, I saw that dove and I said rebirth. So this person, whoever this is, like you've been, they're jealous and envious of your transformation. You've emerged someone completely new. And this is um, Samande. And the name of the song is Dove. And remember, I saw a dove on that card. Um can't remember what card it was this one the door to personal healing and happiness 
And I was saying that that rep is very indicative of rebirth. So this person is very jealous and envious of obviously your transformation and your rebirth and the fact that they couldn't break you. And remember, you know, spirit was saying nothing can come between us and nothing can come between you and your happiness. Nothing can come between you and your bliss, you and what is destined for you. And with justice here, that's confirmation that the scales will balance out in your favor and the fool, this person is going to feel foolish. They're going to be the ones bound by their own jealous and envious and envious um, energy. They're going to be bound by their own deeds. So whatever they're trying to do to trip you up, they're going to trip themselves up. Because you have the angelic presence, spirit protecting you, guiding you. With this card here, those orbs of light represent your guides, your angels, your ancestors. And you also have a divine purpose. So spirit doesn't play about, you know, his earth angels or her earth angels and that's what you are so why is the 57 teaching and learning 81 leadership to journey 41 seventh chakra and 26 hostilities here for the outcome for my beloved scorpios and then we're going to wrap it up let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit let me get a message for the outcome for my beloved scorpios thank you spirit i can't make this up and I'm going to let those drop because those are the cards. And I'm going to finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we got the King of Swords. Didn't I tell you, you cut people, places, and things off that wasn't serving you, your highest good? Whether that was jobs, whether that was locations you was living, you moved on, moved away. This is you also being very wise, knowing what you want. This is you speaking your truth. This is you being very intelligent on your path. What did I say about that Two of Cups? Meeting someone that's made in your likeness. This is having equal give and take. Because I was seeing on this card the Two Cups on both sides. And I was like, dang, I never saw that before. This is you. This is what you're getting. So teaching and learning. So you have a secret admirer that's going to come forward. You got the Sun card. I can't make this up. I told you the Sun. Look at that. The Sun makes everything happy. The sun is very illuminous. You have a fresh start. You have something new that's coming in for you. And you also have the ace of wands, brand new start. Every ending denotes a new beginning. So prepare yourselves because you're on the precipice of something new. And a lot of people don't want to let you go because you've been the one that have been kind of like keeping them sustained. You made them look good. You know what I'm talking about? And now that you're awake and aware and you're going through this ascension, you're very mindful of the energy and the people you have around you. And you're also mindful of the vibrations of people around you because you realize they zap your energy. They're energy vampires. They're leeches. They're parasites. So you are very mindful moving forward. And when you're in a leadership role or leadership energy, I should say, it's like you're not taking any shorts. You're not putting up with the nonsense because you know your worth and value and you're not settling. But this is a beautiful, powerful message for my beloved um, Scorpios. The sun is shining, beloved. We got three cards here talking about how happy you're going to be. And this is just confirmation. I also mentioned that two of cups. And there it is. Coming into a beautiful, sacred connection bond with someone that's going to be on your frequency. You're definitely getting your just due because spirit acknowledges. Someone could have been under some sort of spell. Could have had someone doing voodoo, juju, hoodoo on them. Someone very deceitful, dishonest. You could have broke some sort of yoke, curse, hex, spell. And because someone has cast this on you, they're going to receive their, they're going to receive, um, you know, they're going to receive karma for what they've done. This is a karmic universal year as well. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the messages resonated. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in to the channel. Um, if you are new, if you enjoyed the reading, if you enjoyed the way that I read here, please be kind. Like the video, please help get it into the algorithms. I do these readings, the deep dives to help the collective. Um, and I put a lot of time and energy into it, as you can see. And so just please reciprocate. I appreciate that. Um, and also subscribe if you haven't been subscribed. All right. But thank you so much. Till next time, send a big fat out to you. Peace.